Do you know we all have an appointment with death? Do you know when you're gonna die? You got a Bible, man? I can hold. Ajor, namaste. namaste. Ajor, yo kitab. Omeda nam Daniel Ho. We are here as servants of Jesus Christ. Ajor, priyadu sunahos. Yo parmishur ko bachan ho. Yo kitab sapai jana kolagi kripa ya ponhos. Yo parmishur ko bachan ho. Yeah, I'm Rasatia, Lebande, Runsa, the Lysitema, Pormisco Botsa, the Leporta Sagunesa. As you're Sunahos, Parmish or Ectum Pavitra, Hunahancha, Rata, Bara Hamisa bi Papio, Hamsa Pape, as you're Narak Ectum Tatocha, as Ek Matra Bato, Swarga Kolagi, Yesu Prabu, Yo Santar called Joti, Hunahuncha, Yesu Prabu, Jivan called Roti, Hunahuncha, Yesu Prabu, Bato, Satya Rajivan, Hunahuncha. My friends, there's only one name by which we can be saved. And his name is Jesus Christ. You know, we don't know the day of our death, right? But we know that we all will die one day. No matter how good the vegetables you buy here, no matter how good the food is, we will hunger again. It doesn't matter how healthy our diet is. You could be a vegetarian. But everyone, right? Hamsa Martam. Everybody will return to the dust. Yeah, Kripa Ponahos. Yo Upar Sapai Jana Kolagi. Alenahos. My friends, do you know why we all die? Do you know that we are all infected with a thing called sin? My friends, do you know what sin is? It is transgression of God's law. See, God has given an eternal law. And this is his law, my friends. For example, that a man should not commit adultery with his neighbor's wife. Now you may say, well, I'm a good person. I've never committed adultery. Jesus said, even if you look at a woman with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart already with her. So in this way we see that God is holy. He's pure. And we are stained with sin. Okay, I'm from America. I'm in today's America, ho. I'm American, ho. But that does not mean I'm better than you. Hamisapai papio, bo 
papi ho, te pai haru papi ho nu huncha, hammi sabi papi ho. I will sobe zana se papi so. You may say I'm a good man, I'm not a sinner. I just have to ask your wife. <laughs> I was, uh, sinners, we're all sinners. And that's a serious thing. Then my friends, the Bible says, don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever you sow into the ground, you shall reap. So if you plant corn seed into the ground, do you expect to produce paddy field rice? Of course not! If you plant a mango seed, do you expect a watermelon to come out? My friends, if you live a life getting drunk, you drink a lot of alcohol. If you look at blue films, if you lie and steal and cheat, these are the, these are the things you're sowing. The seeds are planted. And you should not expect to reap a harvest of God's grace. Because God is very angry with the wicked, the Bible says. And we're Do you know we all have an appointment with death? Do you know when you're going to die? Nobody knows when they're going to die. You may feel strong now. You may feel powerful now. But death is stalking you. Why is death looking for us? The wages of sin is death. What is sin? Again, committing adultery with a neighbor's wife. Looking at a woman with lustful intent. Getting drunk. Beating your wife. Abusing your children. Lying. Stealing. I'm not saying I'm better than you. I am a sinner who's been saved by God's grace. I'm here to tell you. Because we have all sinned and because death is a result. And yet God loves this world so much and he sent his only begotten son. His name is Jesus Christ. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of Jesus, please. You've heard of Jesus? Okay, raise your hand if you've never heard of Jesus before. If you've never heard Jesus before today, raise your hand. Okay, the Bible says there's no other name. There's only one name, only the name of Jesus, by which we can be saved from our sin. See, God's made of wood and stone. They can't hear our prayers. God does not dwell in temple made by human hands. Nor is he served by human hands as if he needed anything. My friends, God created the Himalayas. God made the Tarai. And God made you. And we are all equally made in God's image. With God, there is no caste. 
God does not regard a person's wealth, how much money he accumulates. All stand equal before God. As your Yoparmishor called Bachan Ho, Yesu Prabhu Yo Santar called Jyoti Honohuncha. You know, this world is filled with darkness. Maybe you're stumbling in darkness today. Jesus Christ is the light of life. Jesus said, Mo Yo Santar called Jyoti Ho. Yo Yesu Prabhu Bayo Bane Mo Satya Bato Rajivan. Oh, he saved me from my sin. And Jesus has the power and the compassion to save all who call upon him. His name is great. He created the heavens and the earth. And Jesus came into this world. That's right. The God who made you, the God who made me God who made this world he came into this world and he lived as you and I live 2,000 years ago he was born into this world and he was tempted like we are tempted yet he never did sin but not Jesus Christ. Uh, he, is, he, is, he had no sin in him. And yet the devil himself tempted Jesus. And Jesus did not yield to his temptation. My friends, no matter how much good food you eat, we all will die one day. But whoever eats the bread that Jesus gives will never hunger again. And the bread he gives is his life for the world. Jesus came into this world and he lived a perfect life. Never did sin. And he went around healing the sick. He touched lepers and made them clean. Jesus even raised people from the dead. He cast out devils. And he gave mercy to those in need. No greater person ever walked this earth than Jesus Christ. And because he boldly spoke the truth without fear, and because he corrected the hypocritical leaders, the corrupt government conspired to have him put to death. False witnesses were set up, and, and a, a, a mock trial, a, a kangaroo court was assembled, and Jesus. Jesus was found guilty. Yet Jesus did nothing worthy of death. He lived a perfect life. He never even had an impure thought. He never spoke one lie. Jesus never cheated one rupee. He lived a perfect life. He is the holy spotless lamb of God. See my dear friends, God requires the shedding of blood as a payment for sin. But the blood of chickens or goats or buffaloes, that does not please God. 
No, Jesus spilled his own blood. Jesus is the Lamb of God. And this is why he was spotless. He was blameless in his life. Because the sacrifice must be pure and without blemish. And so Jesus Christ was condemned as a criminal, though he was perfectly innocent. And they beat Jesus. And they, they, they put thorns in his skull. And they whipped his back open. And they, they got big nails. And they got a hammer. And they hammered his hands. Those hands that touched the eyes of the blind and made them see. Those beautiful hands that touched, that touched the body of the leper and cleansed him. Those beautiful hands of Jesus received the hammer and the nails. They took Jesus' feet and they pounded those nails into his feet. When everyone was walking away from the blind beggar, Jesus, his feet, his beautiful feet, went back to help that man. They took Jesus' hands and his feet and they took a cross beam, two pieces of wood, and they nailed. It's like a tree, something like a rukma. Okay? And they suspended the body of the perfect Son of God and hung him between heaven and earth. And you know what Jesus said regarding his tormentors? He prayed for his enemies. He said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. If, if someone is beating you, do you want to pray for God to forgive them? Do you see the beauty of Jesus Christ? How he overcomes evil with good? And on the third day, he truly overcame evil. For as Jesus prophesied, he came back from the dead. Jesus Christ, he came out of the tomb. Death could not hold him. For Jesus Christ is the perfect Son of God. Yes, Prabhu Parmeshwar ko putra hunchha. He came into the world to save sinners. And, and what's a sinner? Again, you may say I'm not a sinner. I just got to ask your wife. I just got to ask your mother. Now, uh, you know, you can hide your sin from your wife and your mother. You can hide your sin from the police. But God sees your sin. We need a sacrifice. That's why Jesus came into the world. To die as a substitute for sinners. So Jesus says, Come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden. Jesus says, I will give you rest. My friends, we're all sinners. If, you, if you're too proud to acknowledge you're a sinner, you're beyond hope. For God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. 
घमंडी विरोध कर नम्र अनुग्रह Humbly acknowledge, my friends, you cannot save yourself. <laughs> no matter how good you have been, we've all sinned against God. We've all sinned. Only Jesus Christ lived a perfect life. Only He is pure and without sin. And my friends, God's made of stone and wood. They can't hear our prayers. My friends, there's a true and living God in heaven. He sent His Son.